Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you how to get Orion Injector. Um, it is just a really fun, easy, hack use type deal. It's a good injector. Anyways, um, it's really good. I'm going to show you the basics on it as well, just in case you've never used it before. So all you got to do really is just search up Porygon, and it will probably be the first thing that will pop up. Once you go there, you're just going to press download. It's simple as that. Um, you're going to see ads like this. Don't press start. Yeah, well, you're going to get that. You can open it up. I usually pin it. I press inject. If that doesn't work, that me either means... The version is old, and you just gotta wait for it to update. Like that, see how it crashed? Usually means uh, it's uh, cra it's not updated soon enough. But I am, I know for a fact that it is updated. You just for this for some reason for this update, uh, you're gonna have to actually in load Minecraft first. Make sure it loads all the way up to a hundred, and then press the inject button and let it download the DLL and go ahead and inject itself into Minecraft. And if it crashes from that, then you know it um, doesn't work. Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually use Horion. I'm going to go ahead and go on my own quick survival game. Um, I'm going to show you guys most of the hacks, how to use the hacks, and funny trolls that you can do on your friends. Anyways, I already have a few on. Um... I'm going to show you a few, um, like, how to use some of the built-in Horion commands. Um, you're going to use dot, that's the basic one. Like, that's how you do a command. Like, the slash for Horion, it's dot. So, dot bind is how you, like, bind. So, you, it, it's how you bind, like, hacks to a certain key on your keyboard. Like, let's say I wanted X-Ray to be on the key X. I would do X-Ray. X, and now the key bind of x-ray is now set to x that's pretty simple there's also um dot give uh you input any name in the amount so let's say i wanted that bam i got 64 diamonds now uh for right now the dot give and like the item giving commands i'm gonna probably upload another video about the rest of them because it's super complex and I can't put it in this video. Um, I'm probably going to show you guys how to use the other ones. But for right now, you cannot use these uh, item giving commands in public servers. They have to be in your local worlds. Now, your friends can still join your worlds and you can still use it. You just can't like be off another friend's world or be in a server. It won't work for at the moment. Um, you have to press insert. So, the click GUI. There's aimbot, there's anti-crystal. I'm going to show you a few of these, the basics. Aimbot, simple enough. Um, it automatically aims. Uh, press right-click if you want to, like, change some settings like aim lock or required click. Uh, required click causes it to where when you click, that's when it does aimbot. It doesn't automatically do it. Anti-crystal, it, it reduces, like, the damage by setting your Y level to a certain thing. Bow spam, I actually don't know how to use that one. Bow aimbot, it's aimbot for but for uh, bows. Um, hitbox, it just increases the entity's hitbox size. You can change the height and the width and include mobs. It sometimes, depending on the server you're on and how good their anti-cheat is, it might or might not work. Now, Infinite Aura is pretty buggy at the moment. It's basically kill Aura, but way bigger. You can also have the option for multi aura to hit multiple entities at once. If you want to attack mobs, you turn on mob as well. Again, anti cheat. It they usually fix this one. Kill aura is less detected though, so um, this one's a little bit better. And it has a lot more like visual range. It's just you have to uh, you set the visual range, and I don't know that one. And then it'll show you like the range. It'll show a little circle. Like, let me actually show you that real quick. Where's, where did it go? There's usually... You said that, that... Bam. It usually shows. Why isn't it showing? Do I have Kill Aura on? No, I do not. That's the issue. Now that I have Kill Aura on, it should show. Yep, see that? That's the sh that's where the range is. Um, anyways, uh, let us continue. 
um, reach right now, it don't, for some reason, I haven't gotten to be able to reach entities like the fish, but like with blocks, you can. But, um, yeah, for right now it doesn't work, but technically you can use it. Um, that's about it for the combat area. Teams, it just makes sure, like, for kill aura or, like, aimbot or other things like that. It just detects if your username is the same color as another thing or a few others, like, is allied or same color username. Trigger bot is pretty fun. Uh, it's simple. It attacks mobs you're looking at. I usually set the delay to zero, so it's super fast. You can include mobs if you want. I like, personally... What I like doing is I like setting aimbot and triggerbot to the same keybind, so whenever I press that keybind, it's kind of like I just gotta move forward and kind of get near someone, and it does the rest, because the aimbot goes, like, targets the thing, and then triggerbot automatically clicks for you. It's like a less detectable kill aura, kind of. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the visuals. Um, I don't, I'm not really good at these ones, so I'm just gonna do the ones that I know how work. I know, I know how work. I, I know how they work. Block outline, it literally just adds an outline. It's simple enough. Um, I don't know that one, I don't know that one. Camera no clip, it clips the cameras through walls when in third person. So what it does, um, so let's say I go in F5. Bam. And you can use this to kind of search for caves and stuff. So yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah, I'll bet five. I'm actually gonna keep that one on. Uh, I actually did know breadcrumbs. It kind of leaves a trail. And what it does... See? It just puts an outline so you can kind of like retrace your steps. Once you turn it off, it will go ahead and stop see um yeah oh also this top left thing i'll get that to that later anyways uh visual test visuals it just shows outlines of chess custom sky you can make your custom sky red green dvd logo that's pretty funny it kind of puts like yeah it's just a funny thing anyways um esp it literally just outlines mobs i'm actually gonna send it to mobs so you see it gives their hitbox. Actually, I can demonstrate the hitbox thing real quick. Um, hitbox, and I'm just gonna set the height and that. Bam, bam, include mobs. Now their hitbox is way bigger. Uh, right now it's kind of glitched though. So it doesn't always work, but it works on some mobs. See how it kind of works on the wolf. It kind of, instead of putting it in, like, that big area, it kind of just instead, kind of, like, just puts it in the middle. But, yeah. See, it kind of works, and it kind of doesn't. Anyways, um, hitbox and ESP. Uh, entity despawner. It just despawns entities. It's really that simple. A uh, free look, it just... You go a certain direction, and now you can't really get out of that. And see, you just go a certain directionally. It's really cool. But um, yeah, that's free look. Fulbright. It just gives you Fulbright name tags. It shows name tags in your area. No hurt cam. It disables the rotation of the camera when hit. I I read that off there. By the way. No render. I don't know that one. Swing. It just kind of changes your swing animation. Like to punch and stuff it's pretty funny um time changer it doesn't change it's client side it's client side so it doesn't really do anything to other people this is tracer i really like it because like if you can't see something uh, i gotta actually include entities real quick include mobs see and now i know where everything is like i know that there's zombies down there now um ghost hand i forgot to talk about that um it literally just makes you attack through walls. Anyways, um, view model, waypoints, zoom, it kind of, I don't know those ones. Anyways, um, I'm going to move on to the tabs UI real quick to take it out. Use arrow keys. And so you can go back, you can choose those. 
uh, visual, you press right so you can go in the area. Bam, 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 bam. And you press right again to activate them. Um, that's about that. If you want to remove it, you go on GUI and just turn that off. Uh, you can change the scale, the occupancy. I'm going to set that. Uh, Mojangles 10, style, classic, and slider. The occupancy is too low. Where? Where did it go? It actually disappeared. Wait, what happened? Oh, I turned it off. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Kind of like it like this more, to be honest. Anyways, um, we're gonna move on. Now nah, we're done with tab UI. Pretty simple. We're gonna move on to movement. Anti-void. It just teleports you up if you get too close to the void. Air jump. It's simple. You can jump. It's kind of like double jump. Uh, I would turn off, turn on no fault. Again, it doesn't really work on multiplayer servers. They have anti cheats for that now. But um, uh, like for regular servers, see how I don't get hurt because like it. It sometimes teleports you to the ground, like the game notices, like you're flying and stuff. Um, by the way, if you want to use jetpack, hold F, you can go ahead and change the key bindings if you want to. This is really fun. Um, anyways, um, we're going to move on to B-Hop. It's pretty simple. You walk, you jump at the same time. It's actually much faster than just sprint jumping. It's sometimes detectable, because like you see how you, you stop kind of on the left and right. That's semi-detectable. Anyways, uh, we're gonna move on. Electrofly, I don't really know that one. Fast ladder, it just climbs up ladders faster, I guess. Um, fast stop, I don't know that one. Oh, fast stop! Yeah, you just stop really fast instead of like, see? Uh, fly. It gives you creative flying. Again, Anti-cheats, most anti-cheats recognize this, and you can get banned. Um, there's different fly types, so you can, like, uh, kind of bypass it. You can check that out. Um, follow path, I don't really know. Um, glide, um, it's simple, I guess. You just glide. See? Like a f if she was a fatty. Anyways, um, high jump, you just jump higher. <laughs> Inventory move. Um, you just move while you have your inventory open. Um, you can't change your direction, sadly, but um, you can still move. You can open your inventory if you're good. If you're a good multitasker. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Um, Jesus, you can just walk over water. Jetpack. I already showed that. No clip. It's simple. Um, I died. Oops. Where is my cursor disappeared? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here real quick. Anyways, um, phase. It's kind of like, kind of like no clip, but like you can't fly and stuff. It's just basically like you can walk through walls. Just a less cool. Um, speed. It gives you speed, spider, it gives you climb up walls, step, basically, you know how, like, your steps, like, some things, like, stairs, uh, you can just climb up, you don't have to jump or anything, but for, like, a full block, yeah, um, let's go to step, um, step heights two, it's pretty cool, so now, even, I set this, I set the step height to two, so I can climb up all the way up to two blocks, so, like, this right here, or not? I don't know. I guess two is like one block. Anyways, I don't have time. So I'm just gonna get over here. And let's continue. Um, step, V hop, toggle sneak. It just toggles in velocity. And you don't really take knockback, it's just that. Um, V hop. It kind of is just a weirder version of B Hop. Anti bot. Oh, oh yeah. Let's go ahead and move on to player. Anti bot. It filters bots. Simple. Anti effect. It stops certain potion effects. Anti immobile. 
it disable I'm not I don't even know that one. Auto armor, it just automatically turns on armors. Again, anti cheats can detect this. Auto disconnect, it detect it disconnects you when you are at a certain HP or lower. Auto mine, it just automatically mines for you. Auto respawn automatically respawns. Auto tool it when you mine something, it automatically picks the best tool when you mine it. If you don't have the tool, it kinda of just chooses like a book or something. It's a little bit annoying. Blink is um it like packs up a bunch of packets and sends it in one blink so like you can let me show you like i have dirt uh it's kind of hard though because like blink blink's a little bit weird anyways i'm going to tell you guys more about packets in a different video block reach it's literally reach but you blocks for some reason i can already do that Please, i'm actually gonna just turn on killer real quick and armor i have on and range so yeah so no mobs will hurt me. Anyways, um, let's continue. Death position. It just gives you the latest position. It logs your last known position before you died. Anyways, fast eat. It just makes you eat fast. Fast throw makes you throw fast. My mouse. It has disappeared. It's super annoying. I don't know why I did that. There it is. Anyways. Fast eat. Fast throw. Health check. Um. Inventory cleaner. It just cleans your inventory. It's for more like PvP for like Sky Wars or Bed Wars. Java inventory, it gives you the key binds of the Java inventory. Um, middle click, I don't even know. Click a player with your mouse wheel to add as a friend. Oh, that's neat. NBTs, okay, that. It's kind of hard. I'll, I'll explain that probably. That's a whole nother video. Anyways, no friends. Ignores your friends list check. Um, no swing. It, uh, I guess, oh, it stops your arm from having that cool little, that, exactly. See, it stops it. Anyways, offhand, it automatically puts totems and stuff like that is your offhand. Um, stackable items. It stacks unstackable items. I don't know if that's local or not. Um, uh, let's move on to the worlds now. Um, auto fish, auto move, chest aura, just... To R for opening chests. These are kind of all self-explanatory. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the ones that um, that I wanted to explain. This one weird. It just destroys a certain amount of blocks in a certain range. Um, Insta break. Uh, it automatically breaks stuff. It's usually it again stuff has anti cheat. I'm on my own like I'm in my own world. But, like, you can join a friend's world and it'll still work. Like, Minecraft doesn't have a built-in anti-cheat for that. Most of these will work for a, like, um, server. Like, your friend's game. You can join them. Most of these will still work. Um, Nuker. It nukes. Now, I set a custom key mod. I, I made a little thing for it because I like it. It's vein miner, so it only mines the block that you pressed. So it's really good for, like, finding, like, ores and stuff. Does That does happen, like, because of your reach. It kind of does that. Um, it doesn't really work for regular servers. But, um, like, iron, bam. It vein mines every area of it. Um, and it's really good. You can use it in Friends of World, but don't really use it in like public servers. Um, we're going to go ahead and move to Scaffold. It just places blocks underneath you like a freaking, you're like a bridge god. Look. It just. Bridge god. But you, again, anti cheat measures will usually find this out, which is why I just learned how to bridge normally in Minecraft Bedrock. Um, surround, I don't even know that. Wing sounds, it just, it changes your swing sounds. See? A bunch of different things. Anyways, turn that off. Tower, it's scaffold, but it upwards. Only Y axis. And an x-ray, self-explanatory and chat allows you to modify i don't even know this one cheese 
I don't know how to use it. You guys figure that out. Crasher. It crashes. Crash type. I know there's different crash types. Anyways, um, you can crash servers uh, that have no anti cheats. Like realms, those are the easiest to crash. Just letting you guys know. Custom skin. You right click on a person, you get their skin, and what you do is you go on. Uh, it gives you. It copies a certain like file destination to your clipboard. So all you gotta do is go edit character. Body. No, no, you gotta go on this. Press this. Choose new skin. And then you do Control V, and so it log. That's how it logs your death position. Okay. Um. Anyways, it it puts in a certain. What do you call it? A certain. A certain file path, and that's where all your saved soul and skins go. I usually like keeping it on because it doesn't really affect. Uh, derp. It moves your camera. It spoo this boosts your ID. I wouldn't use it because it kind of it can get you banned. But if you do, if you get like IP banned, this will help. Um, disabler. Uh, it kind of I don't even know this one. Edition faker. It fakes your device. Edition free cam. It's like um, what do you call it? It's like where is it? No clip, but your body doesn't move. Your camera just goes. Murder tool. I don't even know that one. No packet. I'm gonna do a different video on that. No painting crash. It fixes the painting crash. I, I've never really gotten it before. Shulker nesting. Um, I don't even know that one. Skin sealer. Download other people's skins. Oh! Okay, so I'm sorry, guys. Uh, custom skin. Wrong. Skin sealer. Yes. Steel capes as well. Cool. Spammer. Spams a message in a specified delay. So you can change the username. Oh, you actually can't change it. It's just advertisement. And then increase this just increases your two clicks per ten second. Let's move on to the final thing, which is GUI. Um, armor HUD. It just displays armor on the right or left. Uh, array list. It shows the list of hacks you have on on the right, uh, which is actually right here. Click GUI is the thing on the left, and um, compass. It just has it adds a compass HUD. It, it displays HUD elements. I don't know. Um, HUD editor, you turn that on, and you can just dis you can edit HUD elements. And um, inventory viewer, it, it kind of shows your inventory. I guess I don't really know how that one works, honestly, because I've never keystrokes. It just displays your keystrokes. It's not that hard. It just displays your keystrokes. Anyways, um, radar. It just shows a certain area, and it shows players. You got tab UI. I already showed you that, and watermark. It just displays a watermark on the bottom right. And that's about it. That's a little like I guess quick start guide, kind of not. Um, I'm gonna find some diamonds real quick. Have fun using this hacked client. There's some diamonds. GG. Uh, bye.